Well, I'm here. Good Wednesday afternoon. I need to have a little bit of ice in my glass today. DG, to you. Because it's sticking hot out here. Dogs are laying out in the sun and then they come back in the shade. They, you know, what the hell's going on? And uh, so I got to have a glass with ice in it. I'm just going to do that today. But hey, it's a good day. And you know why? Wait for it. Bam! Liga Bravada T52. Hand delivered to Boz by the man Pedro Gomez. Yeah, I answered one of his questions. I got the cigar. In fact, I was the first guy to ask a question. If you ever get around him, if he says, hey, got any questions, volunteer. Be the first one because there may or may not be, bam, a cigar in it, hand delivered by Pedro, the man, Gomez. So thanks, Pedro. Appreciate that. Today, I'm, I'm all excited because uh, I've been hanging on to this since he gave it to me. And plus, it's a Liga Provada. You cannot go wrong with these. Run out. Don't walk quick. Just kind of meander. Go run and go get some. I run or drive to the Cigar Cave over Midford and Grants Pass. And the Grants Pass one has the El Smoking Lounge. Yeah, the Smoking Lounge. And it's connected to the goodies. Let's go check them out. This thing, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, you know. It's got that Connecticut stock cut wrapper, the American Habano. It's a stock cut. They cut the stock, leave the leaves on, they hang it up. All the goodies come down. The leaves kind of say, need more stuff to kind of cure better. And so the stock's on there. It's kind of like other things that may or may not be grown in Oregon. Sometimes you kind of cut them off, hang them upside down. It does the same thing. Just saying. Yeah, the, uh, the fillers on this is Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Dominican. Seven. One, two, three, four. I know, just four. Bang, seven aged fillers in this thing. They're hand picked, hand done, because it's the best. And that's why. In fact, the uh, the wrapper on this, Drew Stace was going around checking out the Connecticut broadleaf one day. And they they kind of uh, said, you know, we haven't really seen anything we like. And they come upon this farmer. No, it's not a farmer joke. It's a real story. I might tell a farmer joke. I, I don't know. I may not. But anyway, they go in there and the guy says, you know, I've got this cool tobacco, but nobody wants it. It, it costs a lot to grow. I put a lot into it. Sounds like Oregon. And they said, hey, let's take a look at it. And they thought, wow, that's exactly the color we're looking for. That's the texture we're looking for. That's everything that we're looking for wrapped up into one. So the guy says, you know, it's kind of spendy. Drew Estate, for us, said, we'll take it. It's more expensive, but it's better. And they spend the money so that we can get a better smoke like this. So, you know, how often does a company put us up front, you know, cigar smokers like you and I, where they say, hey, listen, it's going to cost a little bit more. Price point is going to be a little bit higher. These are 12 to $15 range. Don't be scared. Skip a couple of coffees and go get it. The more you buy, the, the better deal you're going to get. Go buy a box. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry, I did the O. I'm looking for a bigger humidor. I have a really nice humidor. You know, it's got the, the tray in it. It goes down. But I'm kind of stacking the cigars up because I, I'm really liking my job here. I don't get paid for it. Hmm. But that's okay because I got a great military pension. Don't want to get paid. I do this because I like it. People say, why do you do it? Because I like it and I earned it. Buying. So we're going to do this. I'm going to give the old sniff test. Thanks again to uh, Cigar Cave, Drew Estates, and Pedro Gomez for hand delivering this puppy to me. I'm going to give her the sniff test. You know, I want to check out the wrapper on that. It's done really exceptionally well. Lots of veins, beautiful, beautiful dark color. It's uh, kind of got that oily look and feel to it. It's soft. Uh, I mean, it's soft. 
as in the initial squeeze it's not a soft cigar it's a squishy like the one I had the other day and like the one I smoked last night I smoked a cigar last night I'm not gonna say whose it was it was a, an off brand that I decided to pick up and try yeah was not good it just uh, and I tried I really tried cut it down smoked it some more it was horrible cut it down some more that well maybe it's just it you know it's great to experiment just like the farmer that was experimenting with this wrapper you know but he knew what the hell he was doing the cigar I smoked yesterday I don't think I knew they knew what they were doing I'm not gonna say who it was it wasn't one I've, I've uh, uh, done or reviewed it was just kind of an oddball thing I picked up. Won't be doing that one again. So I'm gonna give her, the, give her the go here, the sniff test, the sniff whirl. I like that because I kind of like to give these a whirl, and the sniff is right in there. There's one of the little poodles. So let's give her a sniff whirl. Whew. I haven't done this. I haven't smoked one of these, and I haven't given it the sniff whirl <laughs> at all. So this is all new live as it happens because i don't edit these as you can obviously tell so i'd edit a lot of the weird stuff out <sighs> boy this has almost a uh know that kentucky fire cured from jewish data i did a while back that was super i mean it was strong it's like you're late rolled around in a fire it's not anywhere near that so i'm not saying that but it's got a little bit of a smoky smell to it which is pretty cool little bit of a coffee note or an espresso because espressos you have to say it like that espresso they're stronger they're bolder than just a regular cup of joe and this has a stronger coffee smell got a little bit of a maybe from the humidor so i've got some cedar in there uh just because i do don't judge me it's got a little bit of a cedar smell so yeah got him really nice cap this is a really nice looking cigar it's got that again it's like me it's kind of rustic rugged and rough the three r's rugged rustic and rough is it this or is it this i don't know let's give her a snip i did the sniff I'm going to do the snip. Careful. I just snip just anything. Yep, so go for Bang. Do the cold draw in through the lungs. I'm going to blow this one off plenty. I like the other one I did where I almost choked it up. Mm. Oh boy. Even more of the coffee. You just can't go wrong with these things. You know, there's no smokiness on the cold draw. There's a little bit of wood, really no earthy, no pepper, no spice, but it's just that kind of a the espresso taste. Let's give her a toasting. Oh, it's a lot of smoke. Smoke -y. You know it's coming. You know I'm going to say it. Want to see it with me? Three, two, one. I'm going to fire it up. Mm. Tickle. Liga Pravada, baby. You could not go wrong with these. Don't walk. Don't kind of jog. Don't kind of meander. Like I said, run your butt down there. What really tickle? And get one or a box. It's got some pepper, got some spice, pepper's kicking in back here, the spice, 
on the top of the roof of the mouth towards the back. It's a little peppery, but man, is it smooth. Sometimes you just kind of like the waft in it. People say, what are you doing? Do this. Next time you smoke a cigar, it's like it's got that tickle. I think a, it's a wild one up there. <laughs> Next time you smoke a cigar, look at that smoke. That thing's really putting it out, huh? It's burning nice and even. Check her out. These Liga Provadas, man, through Drew Estate, they are a beautiful, perfect cigar. Really like it. Price points up there. Save up. Take and waft it. Because say, what are you doing? Just do that. You know, pull a big bunch of smoke and go like that. And I'll go, what are you doing? Hey, what the? Hey, what's he doing over there? I say, I'm wafting. And then watch. Just tell them, you know what? It kind of gets a smoke in the old factories. and Like me, it's the old factory. But it's the old factory. And it gets, gets on the palate. And just use a bunch of big words and stuff. And then just do that every time. And then watch people start to do that. Especially if you're around a bunch of guys smoking cigars. They'll think it's, it's, it's the coolest thing in the world. So I, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to explain it to you. What are you doing? What was that? What am I doing? I'm wafting. I'm wafting in my cigar smoke. Use that. You're more than welcome. Retro Hill is spicy. Maybe a little bit of black pepper mixed in there. I think it's the first time I've used black pepper on one of these cigars. Look at that. It sounds right over my head. It's like I got like a tower of a tower of glowing hair. There. Sun's kind of out. It's hotter than heck today. I'm going to enjoy this first third. I'll get back to you on it. Yeah. I, I almost, I've learned never to say never or always. It's pointed out to me sometimes. But I, I usually don't put ice in my in my beverage. But I did this time because it's nice and cool now. And it's going to taste cool because it's hot out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Back to the bullet. Bullet, bullet in Kentucky whiskey. It's good stuff. It's a good mix of this. I think this would mix good with about anything. You could probably have the worst beverage ever. Something you you know you just kind of you don't want to have, and then you could have this, and it would make the beverage taste better. Sometimes beverages kind of help the cigar along, like I've mentioned in the past. If I've dipped it or whatever, gives it a different uh, different note and flavor. This Liga Pravada T52. Along with like the Velvet Rat and the number nine, any of the Liga Provadas that I've smoked and reviewed, go back and check. Anything you drink, this will make it taste better. Guaranteed. And I didn't say that the right way, so you can't hold me to it. But it will, in my honest bottom line opinion, it'll make it taste better. So I'm gonna give this the whirl. <laughs> this kind of looks funny. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, it's the whirl. Come on, it's just the whirl. Give it the whirl, and I'll be back in a few minutes. See if any of the dogs make a showing. So, I'm going to be doing this. Stand by. Everybody there? You ready? Okay, yeah. Okay. Bob? Cool. Good to go. Everybody sitting down and watch, <laughs> watching. The crazy guy. The ice is melted. I'm in, no, I'm not going to whine. I will have my beverage anyway. But it's hot out today, so I had to ice it up. Mm. Been kind of laying off of that because I was enjoying this so much. I'm into the first third, into the, 
this starting in a second. And it is, it's spicy. I'm going to say, in my opinion, it's a mildly bold cigar. Boy, look at the smoke that thing puts off. This thing is, my top five is now like 17. But the Liga Pravadas, uh, all of them that I've tried, and I still got a bunch to go. If anyone has like an extra box of those, send them over here. <laughs> because I'll smoke them up. This is so far, it's really good. There's not really any breeze through here, but uh, as you can see, it's burning just perfect. The ash is incredible. Yep, some fell off. It didn't even hit me this time. I was actually playing with one of the dogs and it fell off and the dog sniffed it and kind of snorted and she went in the house. I thought maybe Luna was going to be in the house. Maybe she will be in the house on the second break. But uh, it is spicy. It's probably not for the beginner. I mean, you'd, you'd like it, obviously, because it's Liga Parvada T-52 from Drew Estates. But it is a bolder cigar. It's not bold. It's boldish. Just put ish on the end of a whole bunch of words and see what happens. You have some fun. I say bam a lot. Hey, you know, the cook guy, I uh, can't think of his name. He always says bam when he puts it. I was doing that way before that. I was I was bamming when I was like eight. And I'm like 102 right now. So I think he stole it from me. This uh, it is spicy. It, uh, it doesn't have any earthy notes to me. I like to rub your face in a really good dark soil kind of a thing. It's not earthy, but it's got, it's pretty complex. I can't quite put my finger on it to say, oh, it's got, a, you know, dried fruit or it's got this or it's got kind of a, a, a you know, a floral note or anything like that. It doesn't really have any of that, but it's just a super even keeled cigar. It's a, it's, it's still a cool draw, which as you know, I like. And, you know, I, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I am enjoying the heck out of it. Good pick, Pedro Gomez. How did you come up with this one? Next time I see him, he's just going to slap me. You know, how could I not come up with it? It's Drew Estate. <laughs> hey, it's all about the jocularity. Again, look it up. So, I'm I'm liking it. Like I said, it's uh, it's definitely got, a, you know, back to the cigar. It's got some espresso notes. It, I can't say coffee because it's bolder than a coffee. It's kind of like an espresso. Ooh, Nisha's in the house. Hey, what you doing? Want to say hi? Oh, it's a good girl. It's okay. She's not a cigar smoker. She's got to go pee or something. Nope. She's gonna, there's a bone eater. She's going to eat. Oh, hey, Luna. You want to say hi? Come on over. She's a camera hog. Oh, that's a good girl. What this? No, nope. I don't blame you. She's got these teeth that come up. Oh, that's a good girl. She's got these teeth that come up. It's a bulldog. They kind of come up like this. You know, the huge underbite and stuff like that. And uh, she just kind of, uh, it's funky. It's funky. Her, she kind of got on the, one of the poodles yesterday, got into her bowl. And she never, you know, she's super cool with all the dogs. She got four dogs. They're all always cool. But uh, I don't know. She's getting, Luna's getting ready to go into heat. So she's, you know, didn't like the dog kind of sniffing her bowl. And boy, she just kind of laid on her. She didn't bite her, growl or nothing like that. She just laid on her. And the poor little, she weighs like four pounds. And it's, it's, I could just see her going, help me. Because Luna, she's like this big, but she weighs like 60 pounds. No, don't. No, she wants to eat a bee. Luna. Oh. Bulldogs, they get this look. Oh, there she goes. They get this look, and they don't listen to you. Or they just go. <clears throat> they when, Once they get that look, they are focused, and they're going to tear some stuff up. You're going to be sorry you eat that sucker. 
I got all kinds of uh, wisteria blooming, and there's all kinds of all around the, the gazebo and the hot tub and around the yard. So I got bees all over the place, which is cool because we need bees. Got to have them. You want things to grow? Got to have bees. So I had to kind of pull her off of the poodle and uh, save the day. I didn't save anything, but I'm looking at it as I saved the day. So this thing is uh, the Liga Parvada T52. is going really well. Um, there's no splits, of course. It's going super well. There's a little bit of a breeze starting to come up in the evenings. It usually happens. And this thing's just going great. A lot of smoke. Soft. Soft to the feel. It's a little bit it's soft about right here just from the heat. As the heat activates the tobacco and things start to burn, you get a whole different taste. So always, my opinion, and I got a lot of them, is just finish the sucker off. Oh, I should show you. Oh, I got rid of it. All. Oh, I did. I had a picture on there. I'm already forgetting what I did a couple of days ago. I don't even know what I had for breakfast this morning. You either? What about you? No? Okay, none of us know what we had for breakfast today. Oh, well. So I'm going to uh, get into the second third of this. A little bit of wafting. That's a spicy. That's a spicy cigar. But not peppery. But it's spicy. It's on the boldish. And uh, I might have a story. Story time. Or maybe a sea story. I kind of like sea stories. Because they're, they're usually true or my definition of what I can remember happen. It's like a car wreck. You know, 100 people see it. They all see it differently. Oh, I've got a good one. Oh. The equator, the dateline, and uh, both at the same time. If you go over the equator, you get a certificate. There's a whole hazing going on. Back This is back in the 70s, so it was actually hazing. The equator and the dateline, and if you cross both at the same time, man, it's like a golden shell back. Oh, yeah. See, all the, the sea... Fearing people, everything's been out to sea going, ooh, the golden shell back. You know, there's a shell back and the golden shell back, and then you can be the polywog, which somebody hasn't gone over it before. I'll tell you a story about that. True story, as I remember it. Because I remember everything, like what I had for breakfast this morning. I don't. So I'm going to be back, burning great, smoking great. Don't walk, don't jog, don't lollygag or meander. Go run and get some of these suckers. Mm liking it. So I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to really puff away on this slowly and enjoy it. Play with the dogs. I'm going to see if Luna, I can get Luna in the house because she is so cool. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for sticking in there with me. Down to, through the second third. The Liga Pravada T52 and you just can't go wrong with it. Ooh, the dogs are going nuts. The neighbor dog's out, so Luna's going to be in the house. She's busy uh, barking at some of the dogs. She just thinks, it's funny, right before my sea story, this is, it's gotten, uh, the spiciness has picked up as the tobacco's heated up as I've gotten down. But other than that, you know, other than being spicy, it's got a little bit of pepper. It's a little bit warmer draw now. Of course, it's down to that. I'll be taking the label off here shortly and sticking a knife in it and smoking it down. As my wind chimes kick up. And uh, this is a highly recommended... Yeah, wait for it. As any Liga Pravada, two thumbs up, two crooked thumbs up. This is... You know, one of those cigars that you could just enjoy by yourself, just kind of check things out, just be alone and be alone with the cigar. But this is also one that, uh, as much as I'd hate to do it, you know, I'm going to get a bunch of these and I'll pass them out to only my good three friends. So I guess I don't have to worry too much, huh? That's one of the benefits of not having a whole lot of friends in your inner circle. You only have to pass out a couple of cigars. <laughs> the people with a whole lot of friends, they pass out a whole 
a lot of cigars. I had to hold it in a whole lot of cigars. And uh, this is one of those. Oh, my God, it's so good. Uh, I haven't dipped it in the uh, in the whiskey at all. It doesn't need it. You know, th it's a great combination, but it's just it's such a great flavor on its own that uh, you just can't beat it, you know. Go out and get them. Oh, sorry, I have to look at something. Got to remember the guy's name. Ed Ryan, he's a tobacco broker. He's going to be like with, like, renowned tobacco broker. He's going to be at the, whoop. oh, that's good girl. Got Nisha's kind in the house. Here's her tail. And that's my German Shepherd. He's going to be at Cigar Cave at Grants Pass tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a raffle. There's going to be all kinds of deals. He's going to be wheeling and dealing in the humidor. I'm going to head over there with my wife. Oh, that's a good girl. Look at them teeth. Here, show. Want to show their teeth? Look at them. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to show her teeth. She's got some big teeth. Cool dog. She's just like super mellow. It's kind of like this. Super mellow, but she's got a bite, man. She she gets some teeth up. Something's not right. Something's hinky. She knows she'll, she'll stand between me and whatever she doesn't like. She gets that German Shepherd look and her teeth go, hey. People go, oh, hey, is she okay? Oh, wow, the sun's breaking through. So, you know, it's, uh, the coffee flavor is pretty much gone. The spiciness is kind of taken over as things have heated up. It's a little warmer draw, like I said. Uh, it'll go with pretty much anything, any beverage that you want to, that you want to, uh, drink. This is, oh, you just can't go wrong with that. What's that? Sea story. To all you guys, Navy Coast Guard, Merchant Marine, stuff like that. There's the equator, the dateline, and the equator dateline all at the same time, Golden Shellback. Back in the 70s when hazing was A-OK, -okay, you kind of had to do some weird stuff, you know, to get your certificate. This is a big colorful thing with all kinds of stuff all over it. I've got a bunch of them. It's been, like I said, a lot of time out. And uh, they'd, they'd look for you. Because they save up food for like a month underway. And it's just, oh, it's horrible. There's rotten food and milk and it's just anything. You got to crawl through this stuff and you got the king and queen of the court. It's, you guys know, the guys that have been out on the boats and on the ships, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It gets a little crazy. Now they just kind of, they had to cut a lot of that out. But back in the day, way back, it was, uh, it was kind of crazy. And, uh, you know, one of the things is wearing all your clothes inside out, your your work uniform. Wear it all inside out, your underwear on the outside, inside out, your socks inside out, your shoes on backwards, so you couldn't run that great anyway. But you had to get the certificate. Back then, you didn't have a choice, brother. You you had to do it. Now, you know, you got a choice, which is cool. You know, the hazing, hazing isn't good, <clears throat> but uh, we had a lot of fun. So I went out to see my dad today, and uh, you know he's all about the women, you know. And, oh, there's a lot of women here, and I'm gonna have a date and all this other stuff. And uh, now he's not so big. On, he's not so big on that. Oh, they're they're kind of because you know they got a group. You know, anywhere you go, there's kind of a, a clique, you know. And uh, uh, so he says, you know, they're, they're kind of want me to do a lot of stuff around here. He says it's not so fun. So, Dad, but, you know, it's a good place, you know, it's cool, you know, you get to visit people and stuff like that. And uh, he says, yeah, you know, the food's good. Oh, my dad can eat, like I've told you before. He can chow down. He could eat more than Tosh and I combined at every meal. Oh, my God, he could eat. And uh, so he's kind of looking forward to some of his alone time. So I'm going to bring uh, uh, probably an acid cigar. He likes the acid cigars. They're a lot more mellow and they're infused through Drew Estates, of course. And he likes the acid cigars. The blondies are probably his favorite. And the ambrosia is super good, too. I think that's one of Tasha's favorites. Now, I really like them, too. So uh, I told him, hey, I'm going to bring a couple of the, the uh, infused cigars over. And his face lit up. He said, oh, that, you do that? I said, man, I'm all over it. You know, I'm going to hook you up. He said, oh, you know, what if the women are going to want some? I said, you know what? Then they're just going to have to enjoy the aroma around you. You have to take them, you know, away from them because, you know, the smoking thing in Orion. But, um, 
he's looking forward to his acid cigar. So we're going to have a blast with that. I spend the day with him tomorrow. Take him over there, spend the day, and just have a good time. You know, it's been really nice today. It's actually really nice now because it's cooled off a little bit. And uh, maybe go to the lake and stuff like that. So we'll see. But uh, like I said, tomorrow, check out Ed Ryan over there. I'm going to be there. Tasha's going to be there. I'm repeating myself, I know. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. I'm going to finish this off with my grandma glass. Like I usually say about this time, enjoy the people around you while you can. Uh, I've been there to where, you know, we've all been there where we've been sick or something like that. You say, we're not going to make it and all sort of stuff. I have been there twice. So I've learned. Believe it or not, I actually learned some stuff from that. Be a lot nicer to people. You know, maybe, you know, the people that bother you a lot or really tick you off or use you and take advantage of you. In my opinion, hey, eh, you don't have to be nice to them. But uh, especially, especially the elderly, look out for them, okay? Please, you know, even if you didn't like them, you know, they deserve it. There's a wealth of information in the elderly. Pick their brains, you know, just talk to some people. I talked to some people today, and they've got, you know, there was a, this huge real estate broker, there's a doctor, there's uh, uh, somebody that, uh, uh, was in uh, uh, big in the banking world and stuff like that. And they've just got a ton of information stuff in that head. You know, pick their brain. You will always learn something. Sorry, I had to waft. Oh, I love this. And uh, so pick their brains and learn something. If you can't learn something every day, I mean, really, learn something new every day. And then, and then share it. Because that information, especially with, with the folks that are getting older, you know, my dad, you know, he grew up, you know, during the Depression as a little kid and then, you know, had to, you know, rough it and all that stuff. There's a lot of knowledge there. There's a lot of life lessons there, which I'm kind of into. And enjoy it. So I'm going to take the label off of this really quickly. I'm going to polish it off. I meant to show you the nub the other day, I just show that every day because I do smoke them down. Almost all of them I smoke down. Some of them, they're okay. They're good cigars, but I don't smoke them all the way down. This one I will. I'll get to just pass the label. So, anyway, happy beveraging. Drink your bever beverages, beverages responsibly. Smoke your good cigars, like the Liga Parvada T52. Thank you. Pedro Gomez and uh, the Cigar Cave. Medford and Grants Pass. Get over there tomorrow for some deals. I hear there's going to be some deals. We're working on some big events coming up. We'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. Until next time, happy beveraging. Go grab a cigar, whatever you smoke, as long as you like it. I, I don't care what you smoke. I just know what I like. And I'll have another cigar for you the next time. So be good, be well. And most of all, be happy. I'm a happy guy now. And Hottie is going to join me on the next cigar review. So it'll be Boz and Hottie. Looking forward to that. And you'll be happy to, to tune into that one. She's a hottie. It's my wife. She's a hottie. So be good. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for sticking in there with me. And yeah, all you guys can go grab your great cigars now. See ya. Bye.